All right, buddy, welcome to Staff Gymnasium. Dominic Damian along with Coach Bowen. Coach, 9-1 and one, another tough opponent, and Drake coming in tonight. Yeah, Drake is somebody new. I don't think Brockton High has ever played them before, but they accepted the challenge, and I give them credit for that. Now, how are you looking as far as, I know we touched about injuries, injuries were good. What are you looking to get out of this, besides playing a good opponent? What are you hoping to work on for tonight? Well, we've got a lot to work on. We've got a couple of new defenses we'd like to work on a little bit. We haven't used uh, all of our defenses, maybe some of our zone defenses tonight, to get some practice on those before we start into Cambridge and Newton and Mansfield and uh, the usual very tough opponents. Very good, Coach. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Well, all right, we'll be back with the tip-off right after this. We'll get the lineups. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Chris Bazell and Amy Ryder. I got it right. See that? No, Amy. Emma Ryder, right? Reardon. You know what? I got the first two letters right, and I created a whole new camera person. I should have stayed with that, because then if we make a mistake, we can blame her. All right, so here we go. We get ready for this non-league matchup as the Drake as the Drake and Muddies out of the Merrimack Valley come in. Should be a fantastic game. Yes, yeah, it pretty, should be a pretty fantastic game. Um, the Drake the Drake and Muddies are um are coming off their last three victories. They started the season two and four, but now they're fine for. You know, they're representing the Merrimack Valley, the North Shore, their their D three school, and let's see what they can represent here in Brockton right now. Absolutely. So here we go. We get ready for tip off. Brockton's last game was the win against Bridgewater Raynham here at Staff Gymnasium. Again, Chris and the rest of the BCA TV crew were able to give you that game. So here we go on tip off. And that'll be Jakeem against Mr. Nichols. Here's the tip and uh, rolled off his shoulder. They're gonna have a, a mulligan. 
as they say in golf, a yes, redo. That's true. At one by, oh, they're going to say another illegal tip. So with that being said, it will be, that's all right. It'll be Brockton's ball just underway. And here come the boxes led by Blakely. Blakely, where it inside, driving high off the glass and in. What a great job by Reed for the first bucket of the game. Coach Bowen loves to go to Navon Reed early in, the early, 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 early in games to start it off. Quick basket for the Boskers. Now here, now here comes the guard. This is Zadoka. His, that shot no good. Robinson, quick feed up and it's knocked out of bounds. They're not going to call a foul as... Biddle tried to finish the layup. Excellent play by Zadoka to, end, to stop that easy layup. And just like that, off the glass, in by Biddle for, th for two. For Reed, I'm sorry, for two. And Brockton has a quick 4 nothing lead. In comes Zadoka now, bringing the ball up for the middies, for Drake. Oh, nice try by Robinson. They want to say it was last touch by Brockton, so it'll be Drake at ball. In the Brockton end, 7.06 left in the first quarter. And again, a 4-0 lead for the boxers. Now he, back to Zadoka. Zadoka top of the key. Well guarded by Biddle. Tries to go to his left. They close that off. They get over to Torres. Torres, two on the shot clock. Long shot, won't go. Rebound, Brockton. Has, yeah, great play by Nichols. And he, here come the boxes in transition. Blakely. From the free throw shot, his jump shot won't go. And in transition, Zadoka off the glass. He goes right around Robinson for the bucket. And Drake, it's on the board. They play that half court press. And they left the man well open for a shot. You can't leave him open if you're going to try to be... Brockton High School as Biddle hits three. Timeout on the floor, 7-2 boxers, 6-11 left. Your thoughts so far? Yeah, my thoughts so far. Trenton Biddle loves the three-point ball. He, he, the defenses kind of disrespect his three-point shot, and sometimes he makes them and sometimes he misses, and, and the ones he makes are really clutch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, I was trying to finish my sentence. Oh, hey, now we get some uh, movement here. As, as referring to the, uh, the backstops going up. You can't leave you can't leave an athlete like that wide open and give him a clean look. Yeah, you can't leave Biddle at, at all wide open. He's a skilled offensive player. Absolutely. Again, like Chris mentioned, Drake had coming into this out of the Merrimack Valley small small con, small league out of the out of the Merrimack Valley Conference, excuse me, 5 and 4. And of course the Brockton Boxers looking to go to 10 and 1. And when I talked talk to Coach Bowen in the pregame before we had that interview, we hope you all enjoyed that little pregame we had with Coach uh, Bowen. Uh, they played Holbrook. They played they played a small Holbrook team on that for one of those wins. And yeah, he was like, yeah, it was a charity game. Yeah, exactly. Charity. All right, so here comes Zaduka bringing the ball up for Draken. Covered by Robinson. Who tries, thinks about goes left. He stops. Biddle comes and cuts that off. And they get it, they get that over to the big the big man. Wow. And out of bounds. Wow. The Kim wow. Nichols on the block. Wow. That yeah. was impressive. We have a typo on a jersey. I do not have 23. And almost a steal by the boxes. Three seconds on the shot clock. Wow. I thought that block was more impressive by Tom Robinson. Was, wow. Yeah, that was impressive. Wow, that was athleticism. So it'll be number tw number 23. I don't have his number on our roster, so we apologize. So we'll call him as we see him, right? And they're not going to get that off. Shot clock violation. Rebound, Boxers. Boxers trying to add to their lead. Blakely thinking about driving. He stops. He had Robinson on the baseline. They go to the top of the key. They work it inside. Ooh. And Nichols is fouled, and the big man will go to the charity stripe for a couple. 
5.22 left in the first quarter. Again, currently a 7-2 boxer, boxer lead. You know, for a second, I thought they were going to let him go to the charity stripe. I was like, where are they putting the basketball for a minute? He most certainly did get uh, fouled on his attempt to drive to try to finish that layup. Mm. Yeah, he's not happy with himself for that release on that ball. So here's his second attempt. Brock to trying to add to their five-point lead. And they do. Lead of six now for the boxes. And Torres now bringing the ball up for Drake. Thinking about driving. Back to Zaduka. Zaduka goes, stops, back to Torres. Thinking about working inside. They try to rotate. Brockton breaks that up, makes it on great defense. Now Torres is going to try to drive with 10 seconds. Over the baseline, over and for three and hitting is number 24, Santiago. Carlos Santiago for three. And the boxes lead is back down to three, eight to five. Nice shot by Santiago right there, wide open. You got to nail it. Now Blakely. Oh, there's a nice clean look for three. It won't go. Rebound, Draken on the rush. Here comes Torres. Stops. Thinking about three. Gets it over to Santiago, wow. who hits. Back-to-back -back threes for Drake Ka and Santiago. Carlos Santiago, and the game's tied at eight. Early here with 417 and running left in the first quarter. And we'll have a foul on the floor. I'm going to call that a number 34 for Drake. It's going to be on Jaquim. Inbound pass in the Drake it end. There's Blakely from the inbound. He sees something. He pivots. He slides his pivot foot. Wow. He's able to have his composure. He feeds it off to the big man under the bucket and good is Nichols. Yeah, as you said, Dominic, nice use of the pivot foot by Blakely. And, and, and a great pass as well. Santiago now. And that's stolen. Great steal by the boxes. Piddle's gonna try to come. Biddle's gonna try to go up the glass. Wow. And he does. Wow, nice play. By Trenton Biddle, and he's gonna try to make this a three-point play. Lead currently back up to four for the boxers. Yeah, Trenton Biddle, Trent Biddle's a senior, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he has any college offers. Such a, a good basketball player. Can't finish it, rebound, bounce. Oh, almost stalked, almost. Now driving, number 23, over to Zaduka. He gets fouled, and that it will be on Blakely. That'll be the team's first, his first. And Zaduka will go to the shot and go to the charity stripe and shoot a couple. Hits the first. He has the second. That falls short. Great offensive rebound by Drake for three. Santiago won't go. Rebound Brockton. Thinking about going long, but stopping. Now Robinson baseline that won't go. Rebound Bro Boxers. Blakely now. They regroup top of the key. Going to go left. Going to drive. Spins. And that time he definitely dragged his pivot foot trying to try, trying to get rid of the ball. But unfortunately, he dragged his pivot foot, so we'll have a change of possession. 322 left. 12-9 boxers here in the first quarter. Now Santiago, Santiago high Ooh. off the glass and in. As Carlos Santiago finishes for Drake. It. And there's a nice clean look. Step back, won't go. Rebound Drake. It. On the break, Santiago's going to try to finish. Oh, wow. And he's rejected. What Emphatic. a great play. Emphatic. Emphatic block by Navon Reed. And now we're going to have a foul on, it looks like we're going to have a foul on Drake to push after the fact. That's going to be called on Torres. Little unsportsmanlike conduct after his play got that ball blocked. After yeah. his teammate got that ball yes. blocked. Mm -hmm. Now off the glass and finishing. Is Robinson. 
Now Draken. Torres tries to work it inside to Jakeem. Back out to Zaduka. Zaduka thinking about trying to go around. Biddle there's the shot. Won't go. That's well over. Rebound boxes. Here comes Blakely. Robinson tries to work it inside. Covered by Torres. Driving with his big frame up the glass. He can't finish. No, that was definitely knocked out of bounds. Last touched by Draken. But the big guy for the big guy, uh, Nivon Reed, just came close to finish a little too strong under the glass. Yeah, yeah, he almost had it, but he'll he'll get he'll get another opportunity at, a, at some more baskets here. Yeah, Nivon Reed is obviously looking like the best player on the court as as he always does. Now Reed, oh, he gets fouled. Nice try, almost finished it. So he'll go to the charity stripe and shoot a couple with 208 left. And a three-point lead for the boxers, 14 to 11. All right, so here's his first shot. It's the first. Here's his second attempt, nice motion, oh. finishes. And the boxer lead is up to five with again, 208 left in the first quarter. Man, Navon was very flawless at the line. Already was eight points so far. Early in the first quarter, late in the first quarter, excuse me. Now, nice move. Now they get a couple switches. We'll give you the changes for Drake in a minute. Oh. Oh, did you, did you see that foul, Dominic? Yeah, it was a little bit questionable yeah, to me. Yeah, it was. He just bumped into the body of on Bento. Robinson. He was more forceful. Oh, they're calling it on Robinson? They called it 1-3, right? Okay. Oh. If, I, if I read my officials correctly. Inbound pass in the Brockton end. Trying to set something up. There's a no look around the perimeter. They go driving inside off the glass. And what a nice pass. Nice look by Long over the... Gcam and now Brockton trying to answer. Their lead is three. Robinson inside oh, the wow. Bento. And he, oh, that is a big frame to push out of the way. And he'll go to Charity Stripe as they don't let him finish his shot. So Bento in the game. We'll give you the Brockton changes in a minute. We'll give them to you right now as Bento goes to shoot. He's one of the guys that are in there now. Also in there for the box is, is Isaac Lane, number 22. And number 31, Noah... Noah Olawu. Olawu. Here's another shot by Bento. Wow. Uh, can't finish that. Could hurt you later down the line. And then transition. Here comes Strake it. Trying to finish. Lost his long lost it for a minute. All right, so inbound pass in the Brockton end. Round the perimeter they go. They're just looking for a cutter, looking for Brockton to open it up. Nobody in the paint. Taking their time, setting this, setting this play up. All right, got that on 31. Noah Olawu. Olawu, I'm going to get that vowel down before yeah. the season's over. All right, around the perimeter they go. Long now. Long with the ball. They work it around. Bounce pass inside. Won't go. Rebound. Boxers on a break. Here comes Brockton now. Lane. Robinson from the baseline. Won't go. Rebound. Drake it. Now... Long on leading the offense. He stopped. It looked like he fought. It looked like he traveled. But then again, long pass and transition and finishing. 
And bringing it home with a little authority is Navon Reed for the boxers. The lead's back up to five. Nice defense that set it up, that set up the offense for Navon Reed for that dunk. There's a floater high up the glass and in. The lead is three, 10 seconds. Nothing left, of course, nothing left on the shot clock. Olable, heel drive off the glass and in. Leads up to five. And that'll do it. We'll step away. Your score, Brockton 20, Drake at 15. We'll be back. Chris and I will be back with the start of the second quarter right after this. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Chris Bazell and the rest of the BCA TV crew. Your, your lead, as you can see, 2015 to start the second quarter. And my man, Mr. Reed, finished that last last shot with authority, as I like to call when they slam it home. Now on the inbound, and we're gonna have a reach. And they're gonna call that, I believe, on Robinson again. He's the only team number out there, and they are gonna call him. We got a couple other changes, we'll give them to you as they go for the boxes. And on the inbound is there, excuse me, that was Torres. He dishes it out to the big man that was Avagon. There's a floater, won't oh, go wow. off the glass. They're gonna count it. In one. And they're gonna call that on Lane. His first team fifth. That was a nice basket by number 22, Mitchell Cripps. See, we don't have this gentleman's number, 23. Do we? Shooting the chair. I don't have his number on my on my roster. Now they go full court press. That doesn't take care of the boxers. Oh, they're going to get Robinson from Dragon. Too many steps. So that stops an excellent, excellent possible finish for the boxers on that and on that series. Now here comes Strakin. Moving, driving off the glass. Won't go. Rebound. Brocked, and he got his. And Bento got his pocket picked by number 23 of Drakid. Another fresh 30 seconds and running for Drakid. Torres now works it inside. And he definitely will definitely have a travel on that one. Yeah, Drakid's doing a good job hang hanging in with Brockton. They're doing a, an, a, an amazing job. They're a little bit more shorter, a little less talented, and, and less athletic, but they're doing a great job as it's only a two-point basketball game right now. Absolutely. Parent has just come in for Robinson for the boxes. I keep on kicking something. Now driving Torres, tries to finish, and he gets fouled. And we'll have a change of possession. I believe they called a travel on that. I don't know if you got the, uh, I don't know if you got the uh, hits, the sign on that. I, I thought it was travel. Well, that being said, Brockton ball. Now driving, Lane, nice, and gets it. Oh, baby, what a nice play. What a nice finish for Isaac Lane for the boxes. Isaac Lane does that often, almost every game that I watch him and broadcast him, he does that often. That's his, that's his, that's his playing style in his game. Boxer lead now back up to four. Officially 6.49 left. Finishes the three-point play. He finishes by making it a three-point play. Now Drake it, Drake it driving inside pass. And we'll have a jump ball. Possession arrow will go in favor of the boxers with their 23 to 18 lead right now. Again, 639 left in this first half. Long pass, that's intercepted. Drake it in transition. And now the boxers take it back as Parent. I believe that was Parent. That was Vanilton Xavier on the steal. Oh, Xavier, I'm sorry. Rebound Drake it. In transition, here they come. And we have an offensive charge. And the gentleman's name I miss, Xavier takes a, forces, forces a very good Offensive charge against Drakid will have a change of possession. Drakid in the penalty now with eight team fouls, and you still have 6.14 left to play in this first half. 
Xavier feeds Bento. Can't nice. go the alley oop, but he finishes on the other side of the hoop, lays it off the glass and in. Exactly six minutes left in the sec in the first half. Now Draken. They try to work it around the around again. This Torres over to Zaduka. Zaduka thinking about feeding inside to Avagon. Back out to Torres. Two seconds of shot clock, Ooh, wow. and he's fouled. It's Raymond Bento. We'll get a number in a minute. Let's see who they call it on. They call it on 44 for Brockton. 44, probably 43. Raymond Bento, yes. Yeah. 43. So Torres to the charity stripe to shoot a couple hits his first. Bento has to check out. He might probably get in foul trouble. And coming in for him is Nichols again. So they got another big body. Hits them both. That was nothing but net. Nice shot. And the lead is back. His lead is now five for Brockton. Ulawul, Xavier, Lane. Inside the Nichols off the glass. And he can't finish. Yeah, I'll, I, yeah you mentioned it earlier. I like the... I like the full court trap of the, by the Drake Mid Middies. They're doing a great job of that. They had they, they forced a few turnovers already, as they as they made as they made Vacum Nichols miss that in one opportunity. Absolutely, here comes Nichols. This is his first shot from the charity stripe. Officially 5:26 left in this first half, and a 25 to 20 Brockton Boxers lead. Here's Nichols' second shot. Hits the, sec hits the second one. And here comes Zaduka. Bringing the ball up in transition. Torres now. Covered by Lane. Goes around to pick. Tick it over to Long. Back to Zaduka. Z they worked on it. Now Torres thinking. Ooh. And they're going to get him for a foul. And they either called it on Lane or they call, I'm thinking they called that on Parent. With that being said, Torres goes to the line for Drake. It hits the first. Drake it is not going away, folks. Yeah, they're doing a good job of hanging on. Hits them both. The lead is now back to four. Parent. They move the ball on a permanent. There's Xavier with a nice look. Won't go. Oh, Ulubu had the steal, but it was covered back by Drake and in transition. There's a shot. And hitting number 10, Botentong. In transition. Now Xavier thinking about finishing his floater. That's short. I'm going to say it was last touched by Drake. I believe they should. Parent will inbound the ball in the Drake end. 440 left in this first half. And now a two point lead for the boxers. As Ulubu checks out, Blakely checks back in, Biddle checks back in for Lane. And those are your only two switches right now for the boxers. So here we go on the inbound. Blakely now. Nichols, back to Blakely, over to Biddle, back to Parent. Parent thinking about driving, and there's a nice look from the baseline. That's overshot, unfortunately, by Xavier. With all that said, Zaduka, the smallest guy in the court, comes up with the ball for Drake, and in transition, here comes the middies. Drake thinking about shooting, stops, spins. And now Torres stopped. Thinking about driving. Stops to his left, back to his right. There's a pass. Eight seconds left. Torres trying to do something. Here's his shot, won't go. Rebound Brockton. Here come the boxes. Parent gonna use his speed and finish and he does.
Yo, Jason Perry, probably the quickest player on this Brockton High roster. Torres now, they work it around Avagana. Back to Zaduka, his jump shot, that's short. Rebound, Brockton. Blakely spreads the needle, gets through two. Drake and defenders, kicks it out to Xavier. Parent baseline, hits! Nice. Now here comes Drakid. There's Torres off balance shot. Rebound, Boxers, excellent defense by the Boxers in their own end. Approximately three minutes left in the first half. Boxers leader up to six, 30 to 24, Boxers. Parent thinking about making a move over to Blakely now. He's covered by Zaduka, tries to go to his right, now to his left, his floater off the glass too hard. Off wow, he gets his own rebound, nice. gets it off the biddle. That's tipped, balls everywhere, and we're gonna have a foul on the floor. Let's see what we have. Two in a hold. Joseph Avignon for Drake it. Yeah, but that was, that was outstanding persistence by Diamond Blakely. His short body frame driving in the paint and almost, almost converting that basket. All right, so the boxers are gonna go with Robinson Blakely. Right now, the charity stripe, I believe that is, that's Biddle, along with the big man, Reed, and they're gonna keep Xavier in. So Nichols will come and take a break. Approximately 2.37 left in this first half. Boxers trying to improve to 10 and one on the season. Hits the second shot. The lead is seven. Yeah, Trent Biddle with six points so far in the first half. Now driving, stopping, nice feed inside. They can't do it. What a great play by Xavier under the boards for the boxes. Now Blakely running over to Xavier, thinking three, baseline. And they're going to get uh, Biddle for too many steps as he was trying to drive baseline. Price on open lane said, I'm going yeah, for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Now Zaduka, approaching the two minute mark left in this first half. Covered by Blakely, tries to go and Blakely tips it away. He tries to get, he tried to get Torres on the far side of the perimeter, couldn't get him. Yeah, Dame Blakely playing hard and hustling hard as he always does. On the inbound, Zaduka covered by Blakely, thinking about going right. Number 23 takes a shot. That is in the top. That ball is out, considered out of play. And it's Boxer's ball with approximately 159 left in this first half. Now it looks like we might not have a, might not, oh, Lane checks in. So Lane back in the game and it looks like Parrott will take a, no, Xavier will take a shot. Inside, oh, what a nice look wow, inside nice, nice. by the Boxer's. Great offensive possession by the boxers. Navon Reed on that beautiful look to Trent in the middle. How about no look? Yeah, nice that's, pass. That's a better call. <laughs> Every now and then. <laughs> now Saduka. Over to number, the big man. That's over to Torres, has a look for three. In and out, won't go, tipped. Finally recovered by Drakid. And coach, excuse me, and um, coach Myers in the second year calls a smart timeout. We'll step away. You're listening to Brockton Boxer Basketball. We'll be back with more right after this. It's like a marathon. We're still on, right? We're still, on. yeah. Thank God for B-roll, right? I know. <laughs> Just gonna make sure we allow time for him to cut it when we come back. So as soon as they hit the buzzer, we'll come right back. There we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Staff Gymnasium. Dominic Damiano and Chris Bazell and the rest of the BCA TV crew, 115 left in this first half in the 33 to 24 lead. Chris, 
for the boxes. Yeah, the boxes kind of surge, surged a bit in the last few minutes of the of last few minutes of this quarter. After Drake was after Drake had a hot run, Drake was playing very pesky yeah. and very speedy and scoring a lot of points and getting to the line often. But Brockton answered right back, and now they have an 11 point lead. It looks like the boxes are going to finish this half with Robinson, Lakely, Biddle, Lane. And I can't make out the other gentleman's number. That looks like that's Reed. So now Torres on the inbound after the inbound pass. Approaching a minute left in the first half. Covered by Robinson. Trying to work the ball around the perimeter. He tries to drive around Biddle. Nice defense. He's double teamed. He lost the ball. Wow. And that was not a pass. That was all wow. off a tip play by Man. two boxers. That was great offense by number 23. Oh, Drake it. And Butang was able to finish. Now the boxers approaching 40 seconds left in the first half. Losing the ball. We're going to have a jump ball. All right, here we go. Approximately 37 seconds left in the first half. There is seven seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Zaduka. Ooh. Driving now with Santiago on the rebound. Wow. Won't call blocked. Yeah, nice block by Navon Reed. And it will be shot clocks off. Now 20.5 tenths of a second left in the first half. In the lead for the boxers. Seven points. Baseline won't go. Rebound. Biddle lost the ball. It went off his, I think that went off his foot. He was he was he was trying to get to the airplane without the luggage. Exactly. <laughs> now 8.6 tenths of a second left. Long inbound pass. Get out to Torres. Seven seconds. Trying to do something. Torres. His little floater and hits. Wow, oh, nice. And that's how the half will end with your score. Brockton 33, Drake at 28. We'll be back with the second half right after this. Hi, everybody. Welcome to back to Staff Gymnasium as we get ready to start the second half. And there's your score as you see it. The Brockton box is 33. And the Drake at mid-east 28. Not a bad half for Brockton. Yeah, not a bad half. Not a bad half for Brockton. Um, they kind of they started off fast. Then towards the middle of the first half, they were kind of slow. Drake it showed up, and they kind of ended. They they kind of ended pretty well. Yeah, it's a five point. It's a five point game, and let's see who let's see who comes out on top. This game seems more closer than I thought, honestly. Yep, absolutely. All right, let's see who the boxes go with. We'll call them as they come out of the huddle. As they come out of the out of the uh, huddle. Boxes are going to go with Robinson, Blakely, Biddle, Reed, and Nichols. And for Drake, they're going to go with Torres, Zaduka, Carlos Santiago, and, and then just like that inside, a nice job, can't finish, the ball's tipped. Here comes Santiago trying to finish. He's going he's gonna to run with it around the back. Too much of a spin. He can't finish. Rebound Brockton. Now Blakely. Oh, Blakely sees three. That sh comes up short. Rebound Drake. It. Now Zaduka, his jump. I believe that was blocked initially. Yeah, it kind of looked blocked. From the way the ball changed direction. Now Biddle in the Drake it end. Just underway here in the third quarter. Oh, that pass was almost a little lazy there by. That's going to be on Zaduka. His first team first, I believe, as we start this second half. Inbound pass. Robinson, long black for Biddle, high up the glass, won't get the roll. Rebound and follow. Nice is Nichols. Now Torres. 
Yeah, Nichols now with six points on the game. And again, we apologize, number 23, we do not have his number. Rebound Brockton, 23, we don't have his number. So we're just gonna call it the way we say it. Nice attempt by the young man. With that being said, now Brockton in the end. And going high and foul, getting fouled is Nichols. And yeah. he will go to the charity stripe. That's gonna be on Drake at number 34, Adila Jakim. Yeah, I think that could be the answer for Brockton for the remainder of the first, second half. Go to go to Vikim Nichols. Let's see if he can finish the game for Or them. Reed. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course, Navon Reed. Yeah, you know, another big guy. I just, saw, I just happened to say when I saw him there. Misses the first. One thing Brockton can't do is make this a close game by missing free opportunities at the charity stripe. Yeah, speaking of close game, if it's a close game, I, can, I, see, I see the Drake at middies. I, I feel like it that they could take it. I, I, I feel it. All right, so here comes. I thought she missed them both. As Torres brings the ball up for Dragon. 6.27 left in the third quarter. Now Zaduka. Feeds inside the Torres. Oh, to wow. and a block by Nichols. What a nice defensive stand for the boxer, especially Nichols, just keeping that baseline floater out of the rim. Now, long pass, baseline for three. Won't go, rebound, Brockton. Reed, and he gets his pocket picked. He actually got fouled. They actually grabbed his arm, it wasn't called. And now Zaduka for three, a long three won't go. Three second violation called against Drakic who will have a change of possession and then here come the boxers. They grabbed his arm and didn't call it. Now Blakely trying to drive. He gets ahead of himself, has to slow down. We're gonna have a jump ball. Change of possession arrow will go in favor of Drakic. Torres, 5.40 and running left in the third quarter, 36-28 Brockton. Zaduka, they'll wind up their offense again with their point guard as he tries to go left. Gets it over to Carlos Santiago. Whoa, nice move. Jump shot and wow. hits. The way he reversed that, nice nice. That was a, that was a nice behind the back. Santiago's playing really well today. today. Now Biddle, his Three won't go. They're going to get number 35 for Brockton. Zakeem Nichols. And we'll have a change of possession. And Brockton had a couple attempts early in this third quarter to add to their lead. They couldn't get it done. Now Santiago baseline won't go. Rebound Jakeem. He battles with Blakely. Blakely out hustles him. Blakely gonna try to finish. His floater won't Ooh. go. Rebound Jakeem. Oh. And they're gonna call Biddle for a foul. And they'll go to the charity stripe and shoot a couple. Yeah, Trent Biddle felt as though he didn't quite do much. I mean, NCAA rule, high school rules are so much different. You know, he didn't touch the body. Misses the first. Exactly four minutes and 44 seconds left in the third quarter. And a six point lead for the boxers, 36 to 30. Here's his second shot. Hits the second, the lead is down to five now. Blakely. Over to Robinson. Robinson gets checked. Ooh. They're gonna call an offensive foul on Robinson. Yeah, they're gonna call a charge. But he got pushed, he got drove back by the yeah, defender was, before he even, he was just trying to regain his position. Yeah, there was some physicality by the defender as well. All right, with that being said, here comes Drake it now. Zaduka covered by Biddle. The lead is five. 
Carlos Santiago thinking about finish. Was able to get his own rebound. We're gonna have a jump ball. Possession arrow go, should go in favor of the boxers if I uh, remember my last possession. And here comes Biddle. Blakely. Blakely, sorry, thank you. Glad you're sitting next to me. Now Biddle with the ball inside. To Reed, he can't finish, but he gets his own rebound. Now Blakely. I'm gonna say it was knocked out of bounds by Santiago, but it'll stay Brockton ball in the Drake at end. 3.56 left in the third quarter, 36-31, Brockton high. Now Blakely trying to cross him up, his floater high, too high, nice. but Bento's there to clean it up. In nice the lead seven, by Bento. absolutely. So Nichols is out and Bento's in. There's a look from the baseline. Won't go, rebound Reed. Reed, there's a corner look. Hits by Bento for three. Man, Trent Bento is just such a, such a good shooter. Such Bron a good shooter. And Brian Myers, the second year head coach, lost his, lost his mind on that one. Slamming the table with his hand. And there's a nice turnover for Brockton, but they can't complete the turnover. They're gonna say recovered by uh, Drakid, but it goes off a Brockton play and it'll stay in the Brockton end. 3.07 left in the third quarter. The lead is 10 for the boxes, 41-31. Santiago, baseline, back out to Santiago, his little floater. Won't go, rebound Reed. He was thinking about throwing the ball down the court there for a minute, but he stopped himself. Now he's thinking about driving. Gets over to Bento, the big man who leaves it off the glass and in. Nice Reed's feed by 12. Nabon. Yeah, Bento, Bento, two consecutive baskets by Bento, looking good. Now Zaduka works it inside off the glass. They made that look easy. Time out, time out. Drake, it will step away. 2.38 left in the third quarter. The Boxers 43, Drake it 33. We'll be right back with more right after this. Yeah, so it's high school basketball. It's like, you know, You're the MIAA. Uh... But you know what I mean, the game tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back to Staff Gymnasium. Chris Bazella, Basil, Bazell, right? I got it right Brazil, finally. Brazil, Brazil. Brazil, I get think of Brazil. Just not what they are. And I'm Dominic Damian, the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV crew. We come out of that break. 2.38 left in the third quarter. The Boxers 43, the Middies 33. And here come the Boxers as we finish up this third quarter. Robinson, Blakely, Reed. Reed driving, lost it. Robinson baseline, won't go. Rebound flying in and recovering was Blakely. Now another shot, he can follow through, won't go oh, by wow. Biddle. And now Drake had finally recovers. Long pass up to Saint, excuse me, Carlos Santiago for two. Robinson, Biddle, his floater high at the glass, won't go. Gets his own rebound, gets it over to Reed. Lost it for a minute, he did, because Saduka picked his pocket. Now Santiago from the baseline, wow. it's a big three. Santiago's having a big game so far. Robinson. Zaduka has no problem, and that's slapped away and out of bounds. Man, the defense by the Drake Middies, it's been pretty, it's been pretty good, man, this entire evening. But they're still down five. They're gonna they're gonna continue to do it. They're gonna continue to do it. 
128 left in the third quarter, 43-38. Brockton, and that ball is tipped away. It'll stay Brockton ball. Were they honestly going to give that ball back to Drake after the two Drake players knocked it out of bounds? I think they were going to do that. <laughs> and then they fish it from the far end of the quarter to straighten it out. On the inbound, Biddle. Blakely. Oh, inside. Oh, he got bumped and they pass. didn't call it. Now in transition, Carlos Santiago and finishes. Robinson. Lead is now only three. Bento high up the glass, the big man finishes. Leads five again. Oh, and we're gonna have an offensive foul. Yeah, nice. Call the number 23. Excellent job by Blakely holding his position. Yeah, nice sacrifice of the body. Take a win for the team. Coach Bowen loves that. Under a minute left in the third quarter, the five point lead for the boxers, 45 40. Olawu trying to move. And Coach Bowen smartly calls a timeout as he had possession of the ball, will step away. 47.5 tenths of a second left in the third quarter, 45 40. Brockton will be back with more right after this. Good. All right, welcome back. Chris Bazell, I'm Dominic Damiano, and the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV crew, 47.5 tenths of a second, 45-40 Brockton, coming out of this break, coming back from this break. Reed now, Reed covered by Santiago. Robinson over to Ulibu. Ulibu gonna try to drive to see if he floats it up. And he's gonna foul, but he can't finish. He'll go to the charity stripe for a couple with 33 seconds left. It was nice penetration, and he'll get reward at the line for it. He still had to make a heck of a move to get by a couple defenders under the paint. I believe this is his first day, first time today at the charity stripe for the boxes. And he misses the first. This is this is what hurts. If you're Brockton, you gotta make your free throws. They've been they've been kind of awful at the line yeah. this evening. Here's a second, hits the second. Lead is back up to six. Long pass, broken up, but recovered by Draken. Carlos Santiago, long shot, won't go. Rebound. Olibu gets it over to Bento. Bento back over to Robinson. A little bit too premature. They'll settle down. No shot clock now. 15 seconds left. See how we end the third quarter. The lead is six. 46-40 Brockton. Long three. That short follow-up. Recovery by Olibu. We got a loose ball on the floor. Let's see what they call. It will stay. And you can hear Coach Bowen. Here we go. There's a shot. The buzzer. Oh, oh almost won't goes go. In. Nice try by Bento that ends the third quarter with your score. Brockton 46, Drake at 40. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this. All right, everybody, welcome back. We get we come out of the break as we get ready to start this fourth quarter. Your score, Brockton 46, Drake it. From the Merrimack Valley, the North Shore team out of the small division out of the Merrimack Valley, coming into this game five and four. 
with a close win against Tewksbury their last time out, Chris. Yeah, man, Drake is really staying in the game. They're a D3 opponent and giving, one a, giving a D1 opponent all they, can, all they can do, all they can handle. They're doing a great job. But let's see what Brockton could do. Now the boxers, back and forth they go. Now it's, there's a long three in and out. Bento on, Bento on the cover. Ulawo getting double teamed, Reed. Bento, alley-oop. A high off the glass, he can't finish. Rebound, Drake it. There's a long pass, just a little floater. Layup to finish, the lead is four. Blakely back in the game now. He's gonna try to finish, his shot gets blocked. Gonna have a foul on the floor, no bucket. Call that on Ulawu. I thought they were gonna put him to the charity stripe for a minute. On the inbound, great job by the boxers and Blakely comes up with it. We're gonna have a reach on. On number 24 for Drake. It. That's Carlos Santiago. His second team fifth. Ulawu now trying to bring the ball up. Lost it for a minute. Gets it over to Blakely. Blakely trying to drive around Torres. Back to Lane. Now Lane in the game. His floater off the glass can't finish. Bento goes up and finishes the big man. The lead is 6, 48-22. The, the big men have been keeping the game alive for the boxers. Raymond Bento, Navon Reed, and, and Vakim Nichols. They've been, they've been playing superb for them Absolutely. so far. Torres now, he gets double teamed, almost lost the ball. Feeds it over to Carlos Santiago, back to Torres. Ooh, wow. And they're gonna get a call on Lane. He was trying to get a position, then realized he was actually getting more yeah, real estate uh -huh. than he wanted. Ended up accidentally hip checking the, the offensive player. So Carlos Santiago will inbound the pass. Over to Zaduka. Zaduka gets double teamed. He lost the ball, Ulubu. Nice job. Re Blaine to finish off the glass. The lead is eight. Brock did not give it up. Another steal by Lane. Here's an old floater and hits. Now oh. Torres have a foul on the floor. They're going to call that on Bento, his second, team sixth. Now Brockton's in trouble because they have 16 fouls. One more, they go, they put Drake in the bonus. Zaduka tries to feed it inside. He's double teamed, kicks it all the way out, blocked. They're going to hit the backboard. Nice so defense by Brockton there. It'll be Brockton's ball. Ulawu covered by Zaduka, trying to go around him, over to Lane, Lane, no look pass inside to Reed. But Santiago picks it up. Zaduka up the glass, can't finish, rebound boxers. Ulawu, he's gonna try to make a play, stops, gets in trouble, Blakely, they'll try to regroup. Zaduka all over him, he'll try to go to his left, he does, his floater, and he's fouled to go to the line for a couple. And the lead's back up to 10 for Brockton with 5.24 left in the game. And a 52 to 24 lead. And here comes Blakely to the charity stripe. Yeah, that was a nice draw by Blakely. Hits the first. That's what they gotta do if they wanna pull away from these bigger schools. Yeah, man, and Drake have been doing a great job. The pressure, that's the key word for them in this game so far, pressure. They've been doing it. That's how they kind of hung on with Brockton. Couple changes 
for Drake and the uh, Avagone, Avagone is checked in. And so has Long. Torres now. Excellent pressure by the boxers. Bounce pass Avagone off the glass and in. Robinson. Off to the baseline to Blakely. Under five minutes left. We want to have a travel. He, he walked before he dribbled on lane, so we'll have a change of possession. Officially four, four minutes, 50 seconds left in the game, and, another, and still a 54 to 44, 10 point lead for the boxers. They go back and forth to Torres. Torres over the long, long in trouble. Carlos Santiago tries to get it. Nice job by Xavier stepping in the way. Oh, oh and reading that well was Avagon. He read that well, well too for Drake. It, and they answer right back. Blakely. And we'll have another foul on Torres. And we just, and Myers just got teed up. Brian Myers has just got teed up by the official arguing a call. So Blakely's gonna go get, he's gonna get this one and then he's gonna get two more because they're in the bonus. Well, one and one, I should say. Yes. Mm -hmm. They just teed up head coach Brian Myers for Drake and here's the first shot. Misses that one. He'll get another one. And then we'll go to the charity stripe for the foul. Oh. Ah. Little bad luck. <laughs> Hits the second. All right, so he missed the bonus, but he hit one out of the one and one. All right, on the inbound, Coach Myers still worried about that call as you see him talking to the official. And there's a nice baseline look, but he can't finish. Bentel, Blakely, they'll start it all up again. Approaching four minutes left in the game. Bentel works it inside. Reed, the behind the pass to Bento off the glass and in. The lead is now 11. Navon Reed and, and Raymond Bento, they've, they've been having, they've had, had a, a great collaboration tonight yeah, so far. Torres trying to finish, can't finish. Brockton with the rebound, in comes Robinson. Robinson, Blakely thinking, th three as a look. In and out, won't go, but there's Reed to clean it up. Timeout, timeout, Drake and your score, Brockton 59, Drake at 46, 338 left in the game. We'll be back with more right after this. That's in case he wants to throw a PSA in there or something, you know? Oh yeah. A little bit. They 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 gotta hit their free throws. Free throw shooting's terrible. Shot themselves in, shooting themselves in the foot. Reed was Reed was 0 for 4, I think. I think I think Reed's 0 for 4. Blakely's not any better. Exactly. All right, everybody, welcome back to Staff Gymnasium. Dominic Damiano along with Chris Brazell and the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV crew. 
as we get ready to give you the rest of this game. 338 left in the fourth quarter. And a 59 to 46 Brockton lead. Jakeem has checked in the big man for the for the Muddies. And there's Torres now. Works over to Carlos St. Jean inside. Nice read by Blakely to step in front of that pass. And another turnover defensively for the boxes. Robinson, Blakely thinking about it, drives inside to the big man. And he definitely uh, was knocked out of bounds, so it'll stay Brockton ball. In the Drake it in. Inside, Reed cleans it up off the glass and in. Approaching three minutes left in the game. Another turnover for the ball. Oh, they clean it back up and gonna have a turnover on Bento. They're gonna get him on a push. So he'll go to the charity stripe and shoot a couple. As Butang is his first one, misses it. Here's his second one, misses them both. He follows up his own rebound. Tries to finish, pivots, move, he's a... That's blocked, recovered by Drakid. Inside, back and forth they go. And we're gonna have a jump ball. Possession error goes in favor of the boxes now with two minutes and 49 seconds left in the game. Good play, by, good play there by Navon Reed. Zaduka from the baseline. That's how it won't go. Reed's gonna run. He has Robinson who lays it off the glass and and good. Yeah, that's actually Robinson's first baskets of the game, which was just quite surprising. But he's but he's played well throughout the game, other than the other than the points, other than the scoreboard. Feeds it inside. Number 15 can't finish the big man. That was Gufa. Gufa, excuse me. Now Blakely. Reed baseline three. Hits. Wow, what a shot. Wow. Lead is 20. That could have been the dagger right there for the middies. Zaduka covered by double team. Baseline is a look for and hits. Now here come the boxes in transition. Reed now tried to do an alley oop. We're going to have a foul on the floor. They are in the penalty, so Reed will go to the charity stripe and shoot the one and one. One forty three left. And a couple changes there for uh, Brockton. Hits the first, they'll get another. The lead is 18 with a minute 43 seconds left and our camera girl is already to get the get get ready to leave dodge she's ready to go hits them both the lead back up to 20 and we got a couple changes for the boxers the boxers will safely improve to 10 and 1 on this season zaduka gets it over number 23 He's thinking about driving, and oh, wow. I'm not sure if that was Reed or Xavier who punched that ball. Oh, it looked like 
I don't know. Look like Nichols. It might be Nichols. Maybe yeah, it was Nichols. You know, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm thinking, yeah. Reed. That's right, Nichols. I'm sorry. On the inbound pass, 133 left in the game. Now J Jakeem over to Zaduka, over to Reed. I mean, not Reed. Number 23, I apologize. That's uh, Xavier. He's, uh, that's a carry. Yeah, easy, easy call there for the official. He yeah. and I could have called that one. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he really wanted to score. I know he, Xavier. Yeah. <laughs> Lead is 19 on the inbound, covered by Brockton. Parent. That's Michael Curry who checked into the game. Curry's in the game, yep, I just saw that, I apologize. Now Parent. That's tipped over, tried to hit Lane, cutting in from the outside, but that goes out of bounds, it'll be Drake at ball. 102 left in the game. And a 19-point lead for the Brockton Boxers with a 68-49. Yeah, Brockton will get their 10th win of the season to go to 10-1. They they already really closed out the game in style. Um, Drake, it, Drake it had little answers. Drake it only scored nine points in the fourth quarter, in this fourth quarter, which is quite disappointing for how they played all well. Under a so minute. the whole game. Absolutely. There's a long three in hitting number 23. Yeah, the, yeah, the Brockton Boxers look good. It was a it was a fine evening by them. Xavier, shot by Lane, that's off. Rebound, Drake it. Nice move as they step in front of that one. Uh, Michael Curry played the safe route. He didn't want to score. <laughs> now, parent, yeah. 10 seconds left in the game. And the Brockton Boxers will improve to 10 and one with a very impressive 68 to 52 win. For Chris Brazell, I'm Dominic Damiano and the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV crew. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of Brockton High School Basketball. We will catch you next time. Everyone have a fantastic week.